focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable. Hello and welcome to Lessons in Marketing Excellence Season 7. You're watching the Curtain Razor episode, I'm Khuri. Lime is back with a new set of challenges, case studies and dynamic marketing talent from campuses across India. The five-stage challenge starts with the online registrations on Facebook, followed by the shortlisting of teams. Here, the top five teams present to a jury after which only two teams qualify for the campus round. Next is the wildcard round, which brings in nine more teams from other colleges in India. The fourth stage is the semi-final round, which leads to the grand finale, where the top three colleges compete for the win. In the last episode, we saw how the first three stages pan out. Now let's take a look at the last two legs of India's ultimate marketing challenge. I think we have to go back to why Lime? Why did a company like Hindustan Unilever went about setting up Lime? It's, we are a marketing company. Yeah? This is a company which has been at the forefront of marketing excellence over decades. And uh, for us, we have to make marketing as a function aspirational in the country. And this is what Lime does. Yeah, it, it creates a platform. It, uh, it enables the best minds to come together and not work on academic, uh, 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 you know, which have no link to reality. But we give them real live problems on which they can focus and come out with great solutions. And also importantly, it enables people to compete in the global stage of Unilever, the Future Leaders League. Yeah, and that's a fantastic thing. You win over here and you get an opportunity to showcase your talent at a global platform. So it's a win-win from every aspect. The fourth stage of the competition is the semi-final round. 12 teams from India's best campuses and three wildcard teams compete with each other in the penultimate stage of our show. The case study for this round comes from the Unilever team, which is released a week in advance. Teams must submit their cases on Facebook and present in front of a jury. Only three teams will make it to the next round of the stage from here. However, Season 5 saw an exception to this rule as four teams made it to the finale owing to a tie for third spot. If you think the students have it easy, think again. The students need to prove their mettle to pave their way to the grand finale. Here's a look at what and who the students face in the Q&A rounds. So what is the relevance of it outside of media targeting? So that's the reason we thought that, you know, uh, some more... So where does this end? Where is yeah, the end? flavors they'll have. You keep asking people, they'll say, I want... Uh, so why not do Magnum... Yeah, he's right. Why not do Magnum cups? Why not do Magnum tubs? Why not do Magnum cones? That's not, that's not the core proposition of the core Magnum. Proposition We're not Magnum, I'm telling moving you away chocolate. from that. So we, we don't want to move away from the core proposition, which is the Belgian chocolate, and it's a steak ice cream. We don't want to move away from that. We just wanted to uh, uh, Indianize some of the flavors so that the customers uh, who, who are... I'm not How do you Indianize Belgian chocolate? Domino's. Yes. Is Domino's premium by any stretch of imagination? So, for me, Mega is anything magnified. Uh, I mean, Mega, that's like 10 to the power 6. So, for me, Mega, the word connotes anything magnified. So, uh, so we when have a Mega Mart, that is Mega. That is so, not the Mega Mart. Premium has come. Well, I, that's the closest context I see it every day. There are 100 Mega Marts in Bangla. Uh, so that is definitely not our idea. What not your idea? How will the consumer perceive it? So uh, maybe because we uh, we do not have mega marts in Ahmedabad, so that may be the reason why we couldn't okay, find the connection. That then. As in, why should why would a person try a new product? Actually, uh, why don't you answer all the questions from your perspective? Why would you? Would you keep going to your mother for advice? I'm asking a question as direct as that for hair and for uh, for 
and for your skin and so on. Would you go to your mother? Yeah, so for hair care. No, answer yes or no. Would you go to your mother? Yes, for hair care, yes. To your mother? Yes. Anyway, thank you. It's a very happy feeling that uh, we have made it to the top among the uh, best teams in the country and uh, also it's uh, a good feeling that uh, the judges actually appreciated the different bold and the calculated moves we made in the event and also it's an appreciation of a thorough effort we put into the event. So our idea was based on their current consumer insight and we gave a lot of campaign ideas which they can build on for the next year. I think according to us we've done so far well. But uh, I think, you know, uh, success is always relative, so it just doesn't depend on how well we did, it will also depend on how well the other teams do, so. And I think there's a lot of great teams here yeah. from great colleges. It's time for a short break. On the other side, we take you through the ultimate stage of Lion's journey. Stay tuned. Welcome back. You're watching the Curtain Razor episode of Lessons in Marketing Excellence Season 7. The six-month-long journey of Lime culminates in the fifth and the last round, the grand finale. The case study for the finale is always of a national consequence. The same procedure is followed while releasing and submitting the case study and the presentation. The top three teams must present to the jury at a gala show held amidst industry experts and dignitaries. <laughs> As the grand finale inches closer, the students up their game to battle for the ultimate case study challenge. Those are representations of what the UID is, how it can be used, and they would be inserted within them. And so does your campaign take care of that? The core theme is Pachan Ek, Faide Anek. The grand finale is a result of the endless efforts and hard work put in by the organizing team in making the competition a great success. Season 6 saw one of the most challenging final case studies about the Swachh Bharat campaign. The years before that have had students presenting creative solutions to case studies such as free and fair elections for the election commission, UID, Indian Railways, Olympic Gold Quest and affordable housing for the poor. The case study for our top two teams today has come all the way from the Prime Minister's office in New Delhi. Let's take a look at what our teams have to do this evening. A concept. A phenomenon. A wave that has taken the country by a storm. A storm that intends to sweep India spotless, the Swaj Bharat Abhiyan. Since its inception in October 2014, 3.8 lakh toilets have been built just under the SBM campaign. Based on this primary research, the key insights are misconception. People associated toilets with safety but not health. An alternative solution to the current government initiative is to build low-cost CLCs with the two-pit system based on the build, transfer and operate model. We propose the Swachh Bharat Vyavasayak Yojana. The Olympic Gold Quest helps Indian athletes generate support and funding to better their chances of winning gold at the Olympics. What Olympic Gold Quest wanted to do was provide a credible platform to actually help people give small donations and, and really make a difference. In 2012, the final case study was set by one of the world's largest railway networks, the Indian Railways. The finale was graced by heavyweights and dignitaries such as the then Minister for Railway, Dinesh Trivedi and other senior officials from the railways and some of corporate India's best known faces. In 2013, season 4 of Lime, the finalists were presented with a case study by HDFC. Tell me what can go wrong. There could be certain amount of corruption. Urban living's biggest eyesore is affordable living. And our finalists had to come up with a strategy to solve the problem of acute shortage of affordable housing. In London and of course the UK. Congratulations and my compliments to you. On one hand, we are facing a shortage of 18.78 million houses and on the other hand having 10 to 11 percent of houses vacant it shows that there is something wrong in the policy of the government and also the banks because 67 billion dollars is the gross credit deployment by the RBI in CRE housing sector. So I think the shortage is because of the wrong 
policy direction we need to think what needs to be done we also should think as to what the private developer should do i am very excited to listen to the brightest young minds in our country and also from the london business school uh, we will we'll listen to them we'll see what they have to offer in lime season 5 the case study for the grand finale was of an unprecedented skill the challenge was provided by the election commission of india both timely and crucial the challenge for our finalists was to create a project plan to ensure free and fair elections held between april and may early this year truly one of the most challenging and relevant case studies online it sets new standards in the competition these young minds and brains have attempted very valiantly to crack in 3 months time there were certain issues about which every group has made up its mind made very decisive recommendations and one area where i found that everyone was talking about was hassle free enrollment it would be of interest for you to know that the election commission has made it its mandate to ensure error free hassle free enrollment i am sure the result of this discussion here today would be served if bombay can break the voodoo in the forthcoming election with a larger participation in terms of turnout the ultimate glory is the grand prize and the title of marketing excellence that is bestowed upon the winners here's a look at the winners so far the team from nitty mumbai stood as the winner of lime season 1 Ahmedabad finished first in Lime season 2. IIM Bangalore won the title in Lime seasons 3 and 5. SPJ made its winning debut in Lime season 4, while IFC Hyderabad bagged the winning title for season 6. Apart from the prizes won by the team from season 5, the winners got the unprecedented chance of helping Ad Gurus R Palki and Piyush Pandey in creating a campaign for the election commission. CNBC TV 18 and HUL's Lessons in Marketing Excellence gave us a unique opportunity to solve an issue concerning the nation at large. It acted as a springboard for our ideas and also helped us in the execution part. CNBC TV 18 and HUL's Lessons in Marketing Excellence gave us a chance to pick on the brains of India's biggest advertising gurus. It was an extremely inspiring and a great learning experience. We felt absolutely elated and very proud on seeing our firm on all major channel networks. CNBC TV 18 and HUL's Lessons in Marketing Excellence improved our ideation and presentation skills. We were coached by experts on how to ideate sharply and also how to present it better. By giving us real life case study challenges to solve, Lessons in Marketing Excellence offered us a platform to really make a difference. This this platform of of uh, this contest of Lessons in Marketing Excellence uh, is a fabulous um, uh, platform because it, it, each of the years it has addressed very very important issues i was involved with the uh, 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 the aadhar card uh, issue at that point of time and there were some lovely insights by young people who were you know who were so clear who were different who could you, you know who were not uh, clouded by uh, how communication should be what should be done strategy but they they actually came at it really really fresh you're watching lessons in marketing excellence season 7 the curtain raiser episode On the other side you'll have a peek into what we have in store for you for this season. Welcome back to Lessons in Marketing Excellence Season 7 the Curtain Raiser episode. Well, Lime is not just another marketing challenge. It gives the students a chance to present their ideas on a global platform with the students from around the world. Leaders League 
League is a global platform that invites students from around the world to showcase their ideas on a common platform. The students are given a chance to present case studies on international Unilever products while competing with students from institutes around the globe. Hindustan Unilever gives the golden opportunity of participating in Future Leaders League to the winners of Lime. Anyone guessing? I don't know about you, but I've never interacted with so many people from so many different countries ever in my life, at in one place. So when it was, we FLL was like, it was served in a platter. It was served in a platter, exactly. The, best, like, the coolest exactly. people from across the yeah, globe in one place. One, one place. This year's theme is Digitizing India, the changing face of business. The companies in focus will be e-commerce startups looking to become billion dollar brands. This year, we are looking at uh, changing face of business, essentially looking at disruptive business models. Technology has uh, become a big enabler, a big enabler of new business models. And uh, we are at a cusp of something which could really bring about a leapfrog and bring about a big revolution in the country in terms of businesses hitherto which had not been on this platform. So what we are looking at essentially for marketing people to come together and bring about, try to solve marketing issues of nascent e-commerce players to help them wean new consumers, is uh, create a differentiator for themselves is provide great service, create value for the consumers and themselves and this is the focus of uh, this year's Lime Season 7. We are really looking at a lot of startups. Um, the second thing that they can expect this year to be honest is a lot more cases from Hindustan Unilever. Uh, it's been a pity that in the past we haven't submitted as many as we would have wanted to. Um, so we are again looking at smaller brands. So these are not the big brands which are money, the smaller brands looking for a real solution. So a lot more cases from Hindustan Unilever. I think the other thing that the audience must expect is a, is a whole day of fun and engagement, right? In the past, it was all about, it was the, the, the show on campus when people would come and present. I think you should expect a far longer engagement period now. Uh, we intend as, as managers of this company to pretty much, you know, offer ourselves to the students for them to ask us whatever they want under the sun. Uh, so the students should expect that. Uh, and last but not the least, obviously, this will be the biggest line ever. I think what we're looking for in line is one big idea. And for that one big idea, I'd really expect you to have done a good amount of consumer work and found out that one insight, that one thing that will solve the problem. You don't have to have a 100-page presentation. You don't have to have, you know, 30 ideas. One big idea coming from one big insight. And trust me, you're in a stronger wicket than anyone else. That's all we have on the Curtain Razor episode of Lessons in Marketing Excellence Season 7. In the next episode, we talk to the core team that works on making this show what it is. Till then, from the entire team, many thanks for watching.